Hi everyone, welcome to another video on search console and in this video we will talk about canonicals. So what basically canonical is and how you can fix this issue in your blogger website. So canonical URL is the main URL that Google thinks is the actual URL of your website and it will skip all the duplicate pages. So let me just open this notepad file and as you can see. I have added the website links like this. In the first case, I have added HTTPS with www in my website and in second cases, I have removed the www and in third cases, I have, I have removed the HTTPS and I have used the HTTP version and in third case, I have removed the www but still keep the HTTP version. So Google thinks all these URL will be different but in reality, all the URLs are same and it will lead to the same page with same content. But how Google will understand that which one URL that it should be indexed in Google because Google can't index all the URLs in Google search result page. If that happened, then it will create duplicate issue in search result. That's why Google automatically select one of the pages as a canonical URL and index it in search result. But you can direct the Google to you can say Google that you, you have to index the this URL only and skip all this URL in search console and you can do it by using the self canonical tag. So let me just show you how you can do that. So first of all you need to go to your blogger dashboard and let's click on theme here and let's click on edit html and let me just find the canonical tag here. And as you can see, this is the canonical tag. So let me just copy this to clipboard and let me just paste it here. And if you put this line of code in your head tag, then you can solve most of the canonical issue. So let me just open the website here and let me just click on view page source. And let me just find this canonical and as you can see the link we have added the home page link as a canonical tag. So let me just open any blog post here and let me just view page source and let's find the canonical and as you can see I have added the URL as a canonical URL. So Google will index only this URL and it will skip something like question mark m equal to 1 or question mark 1 to 3 like that. So let me just open this like let me just add question mark 1, 2, 3 and hit enter. Then it will also lead to the same page with same content. But Google thinks that this is a separate URL and flag it as a canonical issue. But in reality, you don't have to worry about issue like that. Because Google is already indexed the main page and it is not indexing your canonical URL. But if Google index this URL as a canonical URL, then you need to redirect this URL to your main URL. And you can do that just by going to your settings. And let me just scroll down and here you will see this option redirection, custom redirect. And you can click on add here and you can do it only if Google index the this version question mark 1 to 3 without indexing the main URL then in that case you can set a redirection. So just copy the URL from here because there is already a slash mark here. So let me just copy this URL and I will go to settings and I will paste it here like that and I will just paste the URL again. I will remove the question mark 1 to 3. So if the Google is indexing question mark 1 to 3 like that URL then you need to paste that in from section and you need to redirect the same URL to your main URL and click on OK and let's enable the permanent and click on OK so that it will create a 301 redirect. So these are the methods that you can set or instruct Google to set the canonical URL. First one is link real canonical annotation that we have mention in the beginning so you just need to copy this code and put it in your head tag or you can use redirection method if google is indexing the different urls instead of the main url then you can set redirection and you can also use internal link to instruct google that this is your canonical url suppose you have a blog 
page url so let me just remove the question mark m equal to one here and let me just copy this url to my notepad file and let me just copy this again and i will remove the https so these these are two different urls one is https one is http so if you keep using this url in your all internal links pages then google will automatically think that this is the canonical url and it will not index this one and it will index this one because you have added this link multiple time in different internal link because you are preferring this url instead of http url and one thing to note that you can redirect this one so let me just copy this url from here and let me just paste it here and hit enter and as you can see it will it has redirect to www version so you can do that if you are using cloudflare so i have already made a video on this too how to fix ssl issue so you need to set a rule in your cloudflare account and after that it will redirect all your http version to your https version and if you are using something like godaddy then you can watch this video to how to redirect non ww pages to ww pages so redirection is one way you can fix the canonical issue and another one is you can add a canonical tag like this in your head tag and there are various other ways like internal linking and you can also set the url in sitemap file though so google will prefer those urls that are present in your sitemap file instead of preferring http version or something like question mark m equal to 1 or question mark 1 2 3 so let me just go to search console and click on pages here and here you will see this option alternate page with proper canonical tag so just click on here and let me just scroll down and these are some random urls that google flag in this error but this is not that actual error that you should be worried about because here you will see this like question mark so commands and question mark utm source feed burner links and feed links so these are some unnecessary links that should not be indexed that's why it is showing excluded in this page indexing tab and if you go to index 129 then these are the pages that are already indexed and these are the pages like 514 pages that are not in index and out of that you will see this duplicate canonical urls and it is showing that 175 pages are affected but in reality it is uh, pointing out the question mark m equal to 1 or some random urls in comments so i hope you have understand how you can fix this error and you can completely ignore this error only you have to um, focus on if the actual post url is showing in duplicate issue or not because if your actual post url is showing as a canonical error then you need to redirect that url to your main post url if that's not the case then you can simply ignore that error and no need to redirect that url to the actual post url so i hope you have understand how to fix canonical issue in your blogger website and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button. Thank you.